before we ta- we uh, take up the offering, I wanted to get tell you. I wanted to tell you, I don't know if I really want to get that close to this mic or not, but anyway, before we take up the offering, I want to tell you all a, a, short, a short story. I hope it's, it's going to take just a couple of, uh, of you know, minutes or so here about tithing. Ray and I used to live on the south side of Oklahoma City for several years, and uh, we drove by an intersection at 59th and Western for uh, often. Uh, going to take care of business, grocery, sh- uh, grocery shopping, and so forth. And there was a lady on the corner in a wheelchair that says, I need food. Well, we've all seen this in the various areas of Oklahoma City. But for some reason or the other, she uh, got my attention. And she, I just looked at her. And so that next week, I, we drove by, and she was there again. And that, that Wednesday we drove by and she was there again and I said to Ray, one of these days I'm going to get out and talk to her. I just know I'm going to do this. That day came. A couple of days later, there she was again. I said, this is her day. I pulled into that parking lot. It was, there was a business there and it was one of these uh, check cashing places and I walked into the check cashing place and I said to the people there, is she for real out there? Oh yeah, very much. We help her all the time. I said, okay, maybe I'm her angel or something. I don't know, but I'm going to talk to her. I was working at the uh, Class and Senior Citizen Center at the time, and I have all these contacts with people through uh, the, with food banks and DHS and so forth, so I thought maybe I can do something for her. And, and as I walked up to her, I realized she was in a wheelchair, of course, and she was in her 80s. Raylene in her 80s looking for food my heart just broke and I said ma'am I introduced myself I gave her my card what happened she said my son made me mortgage my home that had long been paid for to keep him out of prison and he went to prison anyway my husband has been dead I never knew how to drive a car and I thought, oh my word, I said, and by the time I pay the mortgage on my home, I have $8, and I use that $8 to feed my little dog. I said, well, you know what? Do you have a phone? She says, yes, I do. I said, and I looked at it, and it was one of those under-the-tent cell phones. We've all seen those where you see on the corner, get your free phone here, and so forth. And that's what she had. I said, does it work? And she said, yes. And I wrote down her number on the back of a card of mine, and I gave her mine. May I call you Monday morning? This was on a Saturday afternoon. And then she said, please do. I said, I'm going to do something for you. I, we have some food right now. I'm going to give it to you. But uh, I'm going to do something for you. I, ha- I had a phone number right into my counselor at DHS that, that I worked with at class. And I said, get out there and do something. This is her phone number. As it had turned out, uh, she uh, did not have, have any water or electricity in her home. She had not probably taken a bath in a month or better, and she was starving. And, um, and the even, even sadder part about this is that, is, is that you're wondering why this has to, to do with tithing. Well, I'm going to tell you right quick here. Um, that's a part of, of society that we don't see at all. I'm telling you, you know, Linda, that we have elderly who will die this winter here in Oklahoma City because they have starved to death. They have froze to death. That shouldn't happen to our elderly. I have been in social services work for many years with the elderly, and it breaks my heart to see that. We're, we're going to take up an offering here in just a minute, and as you contribute to that offering, I want to tell you that Pastor Tom and Pastor John get numerous calls for people who need help with food and with electricity and things like that. Think about that, and, and, and I know there's lots of people, but the elderly should not have to have to have this. They have lived their lives. They are entitled to a better life. I think we can pass the offering plate now. So thank you. <laughs> 